welcome back to my channel. I'm Ace, he, him, his, uh, and today we're going to be doing um, this test to see if they can figure out where I'm from based on how I talk. So, good luck to them. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> our first question. How would you address a group of two or more people? I say y'all, not because it's regional to me, uh, but because I'm gay. <laughs> um, oh, that's pretty cool that it shows you where, based on your last answer, it places me in this area, which is incorrect, but that's okay. How do you pronounce aunt? Uh, like the vowel with ah, I think that's what they're trying to say, like sound like ant. With the vowel in cot, aunt. I have the same vowel in a, cot, and aunt. Because I say like ah when I say ah. But I don't think that's what they mean. It sounds like ain't. You got an ain't? I never heard of that. Uh, and then it's talking about referring to specific or in general. But I think with cot and aunt, it's like cot. So... Basically, nowhere does that. That's kind of funny. <laughs> Do you call the sweet spread that is put on cake frosting or icing? Uh, so first of all, I call it frosting uh, because frosting and icing are different things. Uh, <laughs> icing gets hard, frosting stays soft. So that's, that's what I say. Frosting and icing are different things. So that's kind of like this area here-ish is most similar to that, but... All right. Uh, when something is across, what do you call something that is across both streets from you at an intersection or diagonally across from you in general? Well, at an intersection is kitty cornered. It's kitty cornered to you. Um, you could call it diagonal, uh, but I would say kitty corner for this question, which that places me in the northern states, which is correct. Do you pronounce caught and caught the same? I think that's the same. What do you call an easy high school or college class? What? I don't call it any of these things. That's <laughs> so weird. Okay. What do you call the area grass between the sidewalk and the road? Um, I don't have a word for that. Uh, that's just the grass. <laughs> How do you pronounce bin? The sit, see, set. Ben, bean, bin. I say bin. Where you been? <laughs> what do you call a drive through liquor store? Uh, we don't have those. <laughs> uh, How do you pronounce caramel? Uh, so I say caramel for some things and caramel for others, but I mostly say caramel, um, so I'm gonna say caramel, because <laughs> that's what I say. How do you pronounce pajamas? I say it like jam, got jam. You could also say pajamas, I've heard it either way, but I say pajamas. What do you call the area of grass in the middle of some streets? That's, are you talking about the median? Yeah, the median. Yeah, they <laughs> they really can't place me on that one. What do you call a traffic situation in which several roads meet in a circle? That's a rotary or a roundabout. Um, I call it either. I always called it a roundabout as a kid until somebody said rotary to me, um, and I was like, "What the fuck is that?" <laughs> but I guess that's the word you're supposed to use. But I call it a roundabout. Um, which apparently is not popular in the northeastern states where I live. What do you call the large wildcat native to the Americas? Um, a mountain lion, cougar, puma, they're all the same. A catamount, we don't call them catamount where I'm from. I've heard mountain screamer as well. Uh, mostly we call them mountain lions up where I am, so that's what I'll put. How do you pronounce the first syllable, lawyer? Rhymes with boy, rhymes with flaw. Uh, 
boy. It's a boyer. <laughs> what do you call a big road in which you drive really fast? I call it the highway because it's not a freeway be where I am because we have tolls. It's not a parkway because you don't park on it. And a turnpike is... That's a whole other thing. What are you talking about? <laughs> People call it just straight up a, a turnpike? That don't make no sense. An expressway, I guess. A freeway is bigger than a highway. A freeway is free. A highway isn't. Yeah, that's what I say. Uh, a freeway has limited access. A highway can have stoplights. No, a highway don't have stoplights. Highway goes fast. You might be on a route. A route got stoplights. But it's a freeway versus a highway. So that's what I say. That's nobody says it like that. Okay, cool. Mary, Mary, and Mary. Yeah, I'll pronounce them the same. <laughs> what do you call the long sandwich that contains cold let cold cold cut lettuce and so on? Um, you call it sub grinder hokey hero poor boy. Oh yeah, I heard them called po boys. You you well you don't say the R or the, it's it's a po boy. Uh. But poor boy, sure. Uh, bomber, Italian sandwich, baguette, sarni. I call it a sub. Assuming, yeah, I call it a sub. Because, like, Subway, because you get those at Subway. I don't eat sandwiches really that much because I don't really like them. So, whatever. What do you call the night before Halloween? I don't call it anything, actually. It's Halloween Eve. <laughs> What do you call it when the rain falls while the sun is shining? I never ever gave that a name. Uh, I never. What do you call a traffic jam caused by... I've... I've heard... It caused, caused... I should read the whole thing. Caused by drivers slowing down to look at an accident, uh, or other diversion on the side of the road. There's... I've heard people call things... Uh, rubbernecking. I never heard Gaper's Block, Gaper's Delay, a looky loo. You gonna take a looky loo? Um, curiosity Delay, Gawk Block. <laughs> That's really funny. Uh, I don't have a word for that, actually. Um, what is the distinguish? What is the distinguish between dinner and supper? Um, I use them interchangeably. I know one of them is supposed to be the evening meal and one of them is supposed to be the bigger meal uh but uh i guess you do always call it dinner takes place in a more formal setting um than supper so i guess i'll click that one because that's the truth uh what do you call the small road parallel to the highway um i don't know what that is <laughs> well, we don't have those, I don't think. Never seen one. We probably have them. I just never seen one. I don't take the highway that much because I don't like to drive on the highway, so. What do you call the insect that flies around in the summer and glows in the dark? It's a firefly. A peeny wally. Excuse you. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> if you call it a peeny wally, let me know. Don't think I want to hang out with you. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, so the rubber sole shoes worn in gym class or for athletic uh, activities are sneakers. Tennis shoes are for tennis. Gym shoes are for gym, but usually we just use sneakers. Uh, I don't know what a sand shoe is. Jumpers, I never heard that. Running shoes are used for running. You gotta put like your Nikes on. Runners, you know. Trainers are, you know, those are kind of for athletic activities, too. Um, but we always just, you know, sneakers. Usually it's just sneakers. Oh, this is my map. Okay. So I did take this once before, but I wanted to do it again for, for you guys. Um, because it asks you different questions each time, so it's not always the same exact questions, because there's a lot of questions it can ask you. Um, so I... <laughs> I live over here. I live in New England. Um, it thinks I'm very similar to over here, to Santa Rosa, Reno, and Boise. Two of these because Firefly. This one's because of Kitty Corner. Uh, let's sh uh, show my least similar. Newark. 
Patterson and Philadelphia, which is kind of weird because that's more close to where I live. And then New Orleans, I'm very not similar to them either. Um, New Orleans because I call it a sub. Uh, Philadelphia because I call it a sub. New York Patterson because I don't have a word for the night before Halloween. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, so the data comes from, like, New York Times and shit, uh, the, they, they developed a, a quiz based on the, uh, you know, that survey they did, the, the Harvard Dialect Survey, so it's, it's over here. I did answer that survey, uh, to give them more information so that they could place me in the right spot. <laughs> um, I think... Maybe we should try some more. Let's tr let's try some more. All right, so I found this one on Babbel. <laughs> Can we guess where in the United States you're from based on your dialects? Um, so this is just talking about all the things that shape the way you talk. Uh, but geography is pretty significant. So, Carmel. Carmel. <laughs> lawyer? It's lawyer. Okay, I guess I can stay right here. Pecan. Yeah. Well, I don't say pecan, but yeah, pecan. Because a pecan is under the bed. <laughs> Pajamas. Mm-hmm. Egg. See, I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one. I say egg. I say egg, and people are like, what are you saying? I'm like, it's an egg. Okay, wash. I don't, people like to throw R's in places they don't belong. R's and H's, some people, I don't know. Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Is mayonnaise an instrument? Anyway, mayonnaise. <laughs> uh, pin and pen are different for me. Uh, I call it a trash can. Or a bin. I call it a bin a lot of the time. So I'll say both slash other, because I call it a garbage can, too. Uh, soft drink is a soda. Cause Coke is a brand, and I don't like the word pop. <laughs> uh, cot and cot are the same, as previously stated. Okay, so this is a bubbler. This is a bubbler. Excuse you. <laughs> uh, so this, okay, roundabout. I also call it a rotary, as previously stated, but I'll say roundabout for this. How do you address a group of people? I say y'all. Howdy, y'all. I say howdy, too, so I mean, <laughs> what do you call big road cars driven fast on? Wow, that's, that's not what said, okay, whatever, highway, <laughs> highway, <laughs> okay. Let's see where this place is, uh, the Midwest. It says I'm from the Midwest. Um, if you know me, you know, or if you watched previously in this own very video, you know. <laughs> Oh, not from the Midwest. <laughs> uh, yeah. I wanna- I wanna see if anybody can place me. We're gonna try. We're gonna try. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Alright, women.com. Women, y you tell me. You tell me where I'm from, women. Uh, down in the comments. Where am I from? <laughs> what do you call fizzy sugary drinks? That's a soda. Uh, more than one person? That's a y'all. A sale of your old things, a yard sale. Well, I also say garage sale, but most of the time I say yard sale because I don't like saying garage. It's so, just, so, I don't know. What do you call the thing you drink out of school? That's a bubbler. Peeping off, pe peeping, <laughs> peeping often, you know. People often tell you your speaking style is. No one really comments, actually. What do you call rubber sole shoes? Those are sneakers. Uh, how do you control the television? Uh, with the remote. What do you put in a, uh, put food in at the grocery store? It's the, I call it a shopping cart. Or a grocery cart. I just call it a cart. It's just a cart. It's a cart. You're carting around? Okay, but I guess, um, I don't know, I guess. It's just a cart. I don't really put shopping or grocery in front of it, but I mean, I guess we'll say, I guess I do call it a grocery cart when we're at the grocery store. What are the miniature lobster things called? That's a crawfish. 
can also call him a crawdad or a crayfish. I call him, you know, interchangeably all of those things. Let's see, we got a sub. How do you say crayon? Crayon, yeah. What do you call a woman's bag? I call it a called a bag, really. <laughs> called a, it's just a bag. Put it in your bag. You got a bag? Yeah, it's a bag. What do you call? Oh, so they're talking about the uh, candy sphere on a stick. I call that a lollipop. What do you call bugs that light up? Those are fireflies. And where am I from? Where am I from, women? Women, tell me. Oh, yes! I got it. I'm from the Northeast. We can rest easy now. Women know what's up, okay? So go out there. Thank, thank every woman you see for knowing what's up because did I just to say thank every woman? Woman singular. All right, uh, that's all we got for today, folks. So if you like this video, feel free to like this video, comment, and subscribe so you never miss a new one. Um, and uh, I hope I'll see you in the next one. And goodbye.